Oh sh! I put a what did you put in there? I put a 45 Colt in there. Hey dealers, James here at Second Memo Wholesale. I'm over at Taurus, one of our biggest brands over here. I'm over here with Caleb. You, you dealers, you guys buy this stuff up, so we're gonna show you what is new from Taurus. Caleb's got some <laughs> very interesting items over here. Still windy out here and cold, so we'll do more in the booth, but let's uh, let's at least shoot some things today. Taurus, executive grade, good. Am I right? Correct. Gotta shoot a double action, right? Got you it. can shoot it single action. I'll, I'll do you. a double action in the case, you know, I pull it out and I take care of somebody just like that. There you go. There we go. Is that five? Five, that's that it, five. yeah. Beautiful. So Beautiful. your dot index is gonna be, there you go, yeah, it's gonna be lower than you think. Absolutely. That's it. That is it. A different feel. It, it Why is wouldn't a little it be a different, bit different feel? TX22 Compact, aka okay. shooting on easy mode. If I miss with this, I'm leaving. Yeah, if you miss with that, it's time to like go work in the auto industry or something. <laughs> oh man, I was expecting recoil. People shooting on the side too. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Love it. Love it. There that was go. too easy. Yeah, Come on, this one, is okay? the Joker's gun from the original Batman movie. Remember when he pulled out that Absolutely. giant revolver? Well, that's what I think down. about the 16 inch heritage. Yeah. When he pulls that out. He pulls that yeah. out and shoots down the bat wing with well, it. How long are we talking for? 60 or 500. Length now. Uh, the barrel length is 10 and a half inches, yeah. but then you add in the length of the frame. You're looking at like a foot and change. You know. A foot and change. <laughs> yeah. It's like a it's like a subway foot long before they stop making them a foot long. <laughs> How good it is. Oh, I put what a did you put in there? I put a 45 Colt in there. Hey, so fun fact. I was like, that was, that was easy. Let me try that again. All right. All right. This one will take, actually have recoil. Take two. A little bit of a difference between the 45. I didn't notice it. Yeah. We're over here at the Taurus booth. We were out on the range with Caleb on Monday. Got to shoot the new revolvers and it was rainy, nasty, windy. So let's dive into these revolvers. Show us what you got new, Caleb, from Taurus. Caleb's a competition shooter uh, from Indiana, is that right? Or Yeah, so shoot a lot of competition, IDPA, USPSA, Steel Challenge, all of that. Primarily with the revolver, which is why I'm so passionate about nice. these launches that we have here. But also a lot of Steel Challenge stuff because we launched a new 22 yeah, as well. Right. That I'm also very, very excited about. Cool. So, yeah. but on the revolvers, yeah, let's you see. Know, so last year we launched the executive grade line. We did with the 856 executive grade, and we sold way more of those than we thought we were <laughs> going to sell. I've been talking about these guns all week. I'm still excited to talk about these guns, and especially Good. I'm excited to talk about our addition to the executive grade lineup, nice. the Judge. So here's what's cool about the Judge is we packed all of those same executive grade features into the Judge, right? Hand fitted action, which is a genuinely amazing trigger pull. I probably fired quarter of a million rounds to double action revolvers in my career and this is one of the best out of the box trigger pulls that I've ever messed with. But really the thing about this gun is it's a shooter, right? So with 45 Colt rounds, it'll park a 225 grain jacketed soft point right behind the tip of this front sight at 25 yards, assuming that you're capable of doing that. <laughs> but there is it, that. Yeah, yeah, you know, okay. the, sh the shooter matters a little bit, <laughs> but it will absolutely do that. And of course it preserves that 410 function that everybody loves, right? And you get all of these features at an MSRP that is not gonna hurt you like emotionally, right? Our <laughs> MSRP for this is $949. Okay. So everybody knows dealer price is gonna be lower than that, street price is gonna be lower than that, which go, means dealers. you can come into this and you can get out of this gun, you can get a functional, accurate, reliable 45 Colt revolver that also shoots 410 shot shells for less than a G. And that's a pretty good deal. Our next new launch yeah, and go. one that is really near and dear to my heart, that guy. is the optics ready revolver right so toro taurus optics ready option right. that's what we added to our revolver lineup this year we took our best selling 856 and 605 defenders so if you're not familiar with the defender series although the dealers probably are they, they are. probably and sell I, a lot of yes, them yeah so dealers yeah they so know. the defender is the three inch revolver that we right. make designed for concealed carry from the ground up we said hey let's put an optic on it and so we did we still have the rear sight so if you decide i don't want an optic you can take it off and you still have an 856 or a 605 defender just more choices just more, more choices, choices absolutely yeah. we use the hollow sun k series footprint because what that allows us to do is that the widest part of the gun is still the cylinder not the optic nice. and the widest part of the gun is still the part that's difficult to conceal so we haven't added any difficulty in concealing this by adding an optic to the top of it except maybe 
maybe holster options? I so, mean, have you thought through it? Yeah, holster okay. options, absolutely. I've had some great meetings with some leather companies this week to get holsters coming for this, but we will be having Kydex options available immediately. Wow. So as soon as this gun's available with dealers, we're going to have Kydex options available from a couple of different companies. So you'll be able to put your optic on this, throw it in a holster, and be good to go. So for the 38 Special Matte Black version, which is kind of the one that I would go with because it's a carry gun, and right. kind of I'm going I'm to beat it up. 38 Special Six Shot Matte Black is going to have an MSRP of four forty five ninety nine, and then the most expensive one is the stainless steel 357 Magnum 5 shot, the okay. 605 Toro, 470. People worry about optic durability on semi-automatic pistols because you know you get 5,000 Gs at the back of that recoil cycle. I, don't, There's I no, actually didn't know that. That's, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That might be a made up number, but <laughs> don't oh quote boy, me Don't go. quote me yeah. on the exact number of Gs that the optic I'll say experiences. It's 50, there we no, go. Now no, yell at me, okay, don't yell at me. But what happens with the Toro mount on a revolver is there's no slide cycling movement, right? right. So the only arc of movement that this is gonna go through is just the recoil of the gun. There's no right. slamming to a stop back here and moving forward. It just comes up and down as the gun fires. So we've tested tens of thousands of rounds through these guns with all different types of optics. The only thing that is gonna throw this optic out of zero is if I start using my gun as a hammer, which, oh, don't use your guns as so hammers, Why Wyatt You're not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna go, somebody yeah, over the Pistol whipping people. Okay. <laughs> pistol whipping people will void your warranty. Don't pistol with people. Mm. Yeah, listen up, dealers. Don't pistol whip. So we transitioned over from the revolvers, the wheel guns, over here to some Plinkster 22s. Tell us all about them. Uh, what you, What'd you bring this year with this? All right, so everybody loved the TX-22, right? It and hit. it sold like hotcakes. Everybody then loved the TX-22 competition, which also sold like hotcakes. But what everybody said was, hey, let's make a smaller one. And I'm like, okay, okay we'll make you a smaller gun. And as usual, so you listen. We have the TX-22 Compact, very similar lines to the original TX-22 but we added some features that weren't on yeah. the TX-22. So first thing, most important thing, in most guns this size that are chambered in 22, you get 10 rounds, if that. We have 13. Uh, so nice. this, is the same more. this is the same technology that goes into the OG TX-22 mag that makes it a 16 rounder that runs, just okay. shrunken a little bit. And also if you have a TX-22 full size, that 16 round mag will feed and cycle in this gun. It'll just stick out a little bit from the bottom. The gun is fully striker fired, just like the TX-22. Right. It's not an internal hammer. It's an actual striker fired gun, which, which means is, yeah. that you can either run it with the manual safety on, or you can run it manual safety off just like you would any other modern striker fired pistol. Nice. So we have a barrel shroud that threads off. It comes in the box with a half by 28 adapter that screws on in place of this and it'll extend the threads out past the muzzle so you can put any suppressor you want on it. They're all red dot red ready. Dot the from, world. Exactly, nice. red dot the world. All They're right. all red dot ready from the factory and down does that to your war. Co then I see. No, it, the rear is a little too It low. doesn't co witness, okay. but we use dovetails from a pistol that rhymes with block. <laughs> so okay. if you want to replace this with any aftermarket sight that fits those dovetails, so that it would okay. co-witness, nice. you absolutely can. Smart. So if you set this up with your Hollow Sun or your Wrighton or your Shield RMSC and you want to throw co-witness suppressor height sights on it, Good. it's easy to do. All the same tools you would use on that other guy's gun will work on this one. MSRP $399.99. And we Big do have point. and we do have a version that ships with the Wrighton optic, this one included oh, in it. Nice. I don't know the MSRP off that off the top of my head, okay. but the base gun is going to be three ninety nine ninety nine at Good MSRP. Start. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So kind of calculate that out. Nice. The last thing we're going to show is that guy. I mean, come on. How do you not want? I, I'm assuming all week long people walk by and they walk right over to this. Oh, absolutely. Show. Yeah. So tell us about it. I did get to shoot it. It was. This is the new 460 Raging Hunter. Last year we added 460 as a line extension to the Raging Hunter lineup, but we did it in all the standard barrel lengths, eight and a half, six and a half, five and a half, right? Okay. This year we brought out the first ever 10 inch gun and what it starts off with right out here is this muzzle brake. Mm. Again, you shot this, you've seen this muzzle brake work in the real world. It takes 460 ammo and it makes it shoot like a 44. Yes. That's that. I, and then that's you did the... trick me once. Oh sh I put what a did you put in there? I put a 45 Colt in there. Yeah, you, you know, oh, I put a 45 Colt you, in there. I forgot that was you that I did that too. It's okay, it was awesome. Cut to that. It shot smooth as butter. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the neat things about 460 is your 460 Magnum guns will also shoot 454 Casul and 45 Colt if you want to do on that accident, sort of thing. Accident, on accident yeah, if you sure. put the wrong round in. With that full power 460 Magnum round, and that muzzle brake, you're really only getting kind of 45 Magnum felt recoil. It's not bad. And it's one of the very few 
high pressure magnum guns that I'm willing to shoot more than five rounds out of at a stretch. Because I'll do right. two or three or four cylinders of this and then I'm tired versus some other of the high pressure magnums where I'm like, I got two rounds of this in me. <laughs> That's nice. But the brake's not all we did on this. So obviously okay. we have the top rail that you can mount accessories on. It has the double lock system to help control that magnum pressure. These guns are extremely strong. Uh, double action, single action, recoil cushioning grip. And then the last thing, which to me is a real selling point, is we've got a bottom pick rail on here that as you can see is clamped into this bipod, this right? This is nice. So what that does is, if you think of handgun hunting, handgun hunting is like bow hunting, but louder and more fun. There's the pitch for handgun hunting. That so yeah, I like it. you're up in a, so it's gonna be a lot less like crawling and spot and stock and 300 yard shots but when you get to that point where you need to make the shot you need a stable shooting position absolutely and 460 is one of the very few handgun mag magnum handgun rounds that can reach out into that 150 plus distance mm. so if i'm trying to make a 150 yard shot with a handgun i really need a stable firing platform and i personally want that firing platform to be more stable than a tree branch that's what I use. Now I've got bipods, I can clamp it into shooting sticks, I can put it on a tripod, this and all of cool. a sudden my shooting platform now is really, really stable. Sharp. And I can take a really precise shot to get the most out of that 460's terminal ballistics. What's hiding behind this thing, we were like, all right, we can't just drop one new Raging Hunter, let's drop a whole new caliber. So we added the 500 Magnum. Good. Because man. everybody loves a 500 Magnum. This gun, the 460, compared to this 500 Magnum, this was more fun to shoot. I believe Because that. it was more pleasant to shoot. These ports do a lot of work. They got They you. do a lot of work to help maintain that 500 Magnum recoil, but it's still a 500 <laughs> Magnum. You know when you let it I off. I didn't even like moving my head away from it because I'm right? just afraid what it would do to my head. It is an absolute monster of a gun. But, so this one we launched, it's gonna be in all the traditional Raging Hunter barrel lengths. You're Absolutely. gonna be able to get it in either black or the stainless like two-tone. Right this is the eight and a half. Okay. So we're gonna have the eight and a half, six and a half, and then if you're an absolute savage. Is that a four? It's a five. Five, okay. So you got about a five inch barrel on this thing. Savage. If you're an absolute savage, genuinely though, this is the kind of thing that if you're up hunting in dangerous game country, this is your backup to your primary, right? Okay. For yeah. the bear at 10 yards that you absolutely need to light on fire and shoot. This one MSRP starts about, is about $1,200. Well, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, so I actually it's, didn't expect you to say that. Yeah, I was gonna. You thought I was gonna say some crazy like twenty four hundred bucks, right? Yeah. Let's not get too carried away. But yeah. <laughs> so this thing is packed with features for the hunter. And nice. again, if you're looking, and you know, four sixty, that'll kill anything that walks on four legs in North America. So bold statement. Agreed. Very impressed with everything. Uh, dealers, you know we always stock tours. You're gonna see these soon. They sell off your shelves, we know that. And Caleb, just thank you so much. Thank for you very much, guys. Appreciate you your time. Yeah. Really enjoyed the interview. Dealers, we'll see you around.